Hey YouTube, Gecko Guy here. Um, just going to be doing an unboxing of my uh, my butterworms and my um, my hornworms. They came in here from the mail today. Oh, and why don't I just show you guys what I got at uh, Petco? Uh, my five dollar reward pals thing came in. So you know, smoke them while you got them, as my sociology teacher would always say. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Okay, come on. There we go. Uh, so I'm going to redo some super worm breeding. But let's get the highlight of the show out. Alrighty. Got the horn worms. Uh, let's see. I got my horn worm chow. It's basically like a Rapashi bug burger. You just kind of uh, heat it up for a bit. Okay. Boop. 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 Aw, really, man? How did that get out? We got some that got out. Hmm. How did that happen? Hmm. It's like one just kind of see if there's any under here. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, whatever. As long as the bulk majority are there. But uh, let me go into these butter worms. So finally I don't have to go to Petco, well not Petco, uh, Walmart for a thing of like 25 for like 4 bucks that's only like 4 of them only there. But here's the highlight of the show guys, let's uh, see these horn worms. I'm going to be trying to breed these. Keep in mind horn worm moths are huge, like the size of my fist right there. Arr, open, open, there we go. Let's see if I can get one out for you guys. This one's a pretty big one. Or maybe not. But hey. And you know, these are called the tomato hornworm, tobacco hornworm. So I'm going to walk you guys through the steps on how to breed these guys. So this is going to be pretty new on how to breed these. Um, I'm, I'm also going to be figuring it out in the process uh, so you know there's gonna be some trial and error here but it looks like I'm gonna need deli cups like this and I've got like grates like that and you know uh, there's hornworm chow and just uh, clean it out like maybe once a week put a new hornworm chow in there so comment like and subscribe as always um, I'll definitely keep you guys updated um, so why don't I actually show you my uh, my, my mealworm colony. There, I got a lot of beetles here. Look at all these. Oh, here we go. Beetles, lots of beetles. Lots of beetles right here. Lots of them. Um, in the, the corner right there. So yeah, I basically don't have to do anything to this mealworm colony. They've got it just hunkered down right now. My isopods, these guys are going strong. Here's my isopods. I know you guys really like my updates here. Or maybe you don't. I don't know. Um, but my isopods are going pretty strong. Alright. But uh, who knows? I don't know if they're breeding or not right now. Well, maybe they are. I see a little one right there. Alright, so comment, like, and subscribe as always. Um, like I said, I'll keep you guys updated. And, you know, I'll keep this information uh, updated on geckoguyscrubs.com. Be sure to like that Facebook page, guys. Um, you know, I did revamp the website, geckoguyscrubs.com. Um, so be sure to check it out. I did a couple of gecko cure sheets. So, we'll see you next time.